Hey guys, how you doing? We're gonna make a stuffed roulotte beef. Really what it is is just a flank steak. We're gonna add some cheese and some spinach and some uh, peppers, roasted peppers. It's so easy. It looks fancy, but it's not. All right, so what you need is a, a flank steak. And you take your flank steak and you just kind of go into the center of it and just slowly slice back, slice back, slice back, slice back until you get it to um, two pieces almost. But you wanna keep them together. So it's gonna look like this when you finish cutting it. So it's really just one piece cut into two straight down the center. It's very easy to do. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some salt and pepper to the inside. You always wanna salt and pepper your meat. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down the cheese. Now I'm using provolone, but uh, you can use any cheese you like really. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the spinach on top of the cheese. I'm using baby spinach. It's just a little bit easier to work with. And um, I think it just makes it a, a little bit prettier. And then on top of that, we're just gonna place our roasted peppers. Now I'm using yellow roasted peppers here, but if you had red ones and you wanted to roast them yourself, or if you get the jarred ones, it's no problem at all. It's delicious no matter how you do it. Okay, so once we get our peppers on, just wipe my hands, and then what we're gonna do is roll it. Now, instead of uh, tying it today, we are gonna use toothpicks. So you don't have to roll it too tight, but you do want it to be nice and secure, just like this. And don't worry about if the back breaks, because that'll just be the side that we sear. Just like that. And then what we do is we just simply take these toothpicks. I'm using these really long um, cooking toothpicks. They work great. Because you really just need to hold it together. Once you sear it, it really stays together on its own. Look at that. All right, so I've got my pan already hot. Now I'm just gonna add some oil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a nice sear on this. And then get it ready for the oven. You know, your Copper Chef pans are heat safe to 500 degrees. These handles are riveted on, so you never have to worry about carrying hot pans to and from the stove. They're metal, again, that gives us 500 degrees oven safe without the lid. Okay, so now once my oil is nice and hot, we're gonna get a nice sear on it. I can see my oil smoking right there. Put my meat in, look at that. Now we're gonna sear this on all, four, on all sides, and then I'm gonna put it into the oven. After it cooks, we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna make a really simple sauce to go with your rolled beef. All right, look at that. Look at the beautiful sear you can get in your Copper Chef, that's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna put the toothpicks on the top. I'm gonna to take this to the oven. We're gonna roast this at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. All right, so I just took that out of the oven. Remember, the handle's gonna be hot. All handles get hot in the oven. So I always leave a towel on it to remind me that my pan is hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my beef out and I'm gonna let it rest on the cutting board while I make the sauce. You don't wanna cut that right away, you wanna let it set up a little bit. Now look at all the residual juice that's in there from our beef and all the other flavors that we put in. So now I'm just gonna put it on high. We're gonna let the pan get hot again. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some butter and hit it with some wine. I'm gonna let that cook down for a second. We're gonna get our garlic in there. Rosemary. A Little bit of extra salt and pepper, just for good measure. And then I'm going to add some mustard. The mustard gives the sauce a great flavor and it also helps thicken it up. Just takes it to another level and mustard is always good. I used a dark brown mustard on here, but you could use whatever mustard you like. We're just gonna let this cook down for about two minutes, then I'm gonna cut the meat, and we're gonna plate it up. Remember, all the recipes are online, so if you miss something here, don't worry about it, we have you covered. Now, my sauce is cooked down. Look how beautiful that looks. We waited till it got nice and thick. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna cut the meat so we could see how it looks inside. It's rested for about five minutes, so we should be good to go. Look at that. 
Now that is beautiful, isn't it? And just remember, it couldn't be easier. You get to make this beautifully fancy looking meal in your Copper Chef pan, and the cleanup is gonna be an absolute breeze. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a plate. I'm gonna cut another piece off of this, and we're gonna make a nice portion. Look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. Medium rare, just the way I like it. If you like it a little bit darker, that's fine. You should eat your steak the way you enjoy it. Now, this would be great with some roasted potatoes or anything like that. Maybe some Brussels sprouts on the side. Now look at that beautiful sauce. But while you're looking at the sauce, you guys, I want you to notice our pan. That is gonna clean up so easy. All I have to do is rinse that out or throw it in the dishwasher. And there you have it, that's our rolled beef with spinach. We put a beautiful mustard sauce on that. It's absolutely fantastic. So easy to make in your Copper Chef. Cleanup's gonna be a breeze, but dinner's gonna taste really good.